What's up you guys, Clack here, out with another video, and it's been a while since I made a video like this where I'm talking to the camera and everything like that. It's gonna take a little bit of time for me to get used to. So for this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna run on my Priest for the 40 1v1 tournament hosted by Tips Out. Uh, if you guys don't know Tips Out, go check his stream out. Make sure to go check out my stream out first. Maybe throw me a Twitch on. So I've been playing around with specs, going back to disc, even look at holy talents, and even trying shatter. And what I found does best at 1v1 at 40 is shadow. For level 30, uh, probably the best spec was going to be Disc Priest. I lacked a little bit of damage, but I had a lot of self-sustain. I was able to outlast a lot of classes. Uh, I was able to beat mages. I was able to beat uh, pretty much almost any melee. Uh, besides the Hands Mission, because they had uh, Purges, Tremors, and uh, stuff like that. So that was one of the harder classes for sure for me to go against. So I was leveling as a Disc Priest even when I was 40. I changed my spec up properly to what I wanted to be. And I started 1v1ing people and I noticed I really couldn't do a whole lot. Against an arms warrior, it was pretty much uh, like, it didn't matter how much mana I had. It's just I couldn't heal through his MS and he would get through my bubble really fast because of MS. So the mana that I was saving, I was end up spending trying to keep myself up and I was pretty much just trying to counteract the warrior's damage through MS and it was very hard. Hunters kind of wrecked me as well. They have a mana sting or mana burn, serpent sting or something like that. They have a mana burn. It only costs them like 130 mana and they can spam it. So when they put it on you, it does like 160 mana every two seconds. That's a lot of damage. I mean, that's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana, uh, he's draining out, and pretty much what they're gonna do is he's gonna run up to you, he's gonna scatter you, or probably trap you, I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't scatter you actually. He would run up to you and trap you, and then mana burn you, and within that time that you're trapped, probably about a thousand mana is gonna be gone. 800 to 1,000 mana is gonna be gone. So when you face hunters as a Shadow Priest in vanilla, it's definitely, you're definitely on a timer because they're gonna be playing that game of trapping you. And then when they trap, when your mana is getting ticked, you know what they're gonna do? They're either gonna one, run a super, super, super far away, or they're gonna start eating right in front of your face to be able to reset. Um, so again, I, I, I tend to struggle against a hunter very, very much. A warrior, I seem to be able to wreck as a Shadow Priest. Is they seem to can't even get through my bubble because of my 15% damage reduction as Shadow form. So that's very nice. Mages haven't really got to face anyone. Warlocks, I don't know how I'm going to do against that. I think I'm just going to end up booming. So this tournament, honestly, I don't think I'm going to do as well as some other classes like I did in level 30. Level 30 was gen definitely my chance to sign. So let me go ahead and show you my build. This is the build I run. I run into a blackout. Blackout's pretty much mandatory. You're not gonna get any value added spirit type you want because you're not killing anyone. Um, if there was mobs around us and we were able to do that, that'd be pretty neat. Even then, I don't know if that would even be viable to pull a mob when you're in a 1v1. Who knows, it could be. When you're facing a hunter, it hit you out of trap. But uh, I'm sure that would be against the rules in some way. Uh, spell resist, a shadow focus, and I'm going to improve shadow word pain, fear, uh, I would not go into improve mind blast, that's a lot of wasted talent points, you can spend 5 in there just to reduce it by 2.5 seconds, and it's already on an 8 second cooldown, it's pretty garbage actually, um, you wouldn't even really want to mind blast until you get your 5 stacks of shadow weaving, shadow weaving is very important, this is going to increase your damage by a lot, and this should help you, so you really want to pump out your shadow weaving, and you want to be able to proc your blackouts as much as possible with this spec. And basically, the way to do that, if you're facing a melee, you can practically spam touch a weakness. One, it'll put a little dot on them, so it might have a chance to be able to proc your blackout, which is huge. And second, it'll reduce their damage by 11. So it's huge. So you're going to be spamming this to try to get lucky to get the blackout stun. That's mainly the main big thing here. Um, on top of that, you're gonna be putting your Shadow of Pain, you might be Mind Flame to keep them away from you or slow them. Uh, it takes a decent amount of mana, so when you do Mind Flame, you wanna make sure you do have Power Word Shield on yourself, so that that way they don't interrupt your cast on Mind Flight by just simply hitting you. Because if I Mind Flay something, if I get hit, it'll pretty much just like cancel the cast, hit me. See that? So that was like almost a wasted 100 mana because I didn't get the full duration out of that. So if I bubble myself and then go for a Mind Flay, it's, it's a lot better. So you get the full mind play. Again, I wouldn't recommend doing that uh, any other time because you're just gonna be ooming yourself as really, really, really fast. If anything, you probably try to get away from the melee, but they're probably gonna be solo on you, so you might have to wand them. Um, if you don't think the wand is worth, then you could do mind play, but then again, keep in mind your mana. You don't have unlimited mana pool. You probably have like a good 
If you're in a fight, you probably have a good 30 to 40 seconds worth of mana to fight someone. Uh, especially if a hunter is on you, the fight is going to even going to be quicker than that. It's going to be uh, really fast. So again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Make sure to leave a like and sub and go check out my Twitch channel. I stream almost every single day. And when I do stream, I stream a lot of hours.